<sighs> oh, <laughs> good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode here at Wildman Lifts. I'm your host, Wildman. On today's episode, I'm going to be doing the bench press, and I'm going to be throwing the chains on again, and I'm going to be working up to as many reps as possible on my top sets with the chains. I'm also going to be doing some sled movements in between to work on my strongman and my work capacity. So let's jump in and let's get to it. Now with the bar plus the chains that don't touch the ground and with the drop down chains, we're looking at a total amount of weight at the top and a lot easier of a press at the bottom. And in between my benching, I was doing sled lap pulls, which is great for explosive work and for your back. This is something that's a good antagonistic movement so you don't overwork your back always doing the same old rows or pull-ups every single time. And what I'll do is I'll turn the sled around and then I will drag it backwards, which will hit my back and my legs in a different way. So I'm going to be doing these three movements in between my benching as I go up. Now, a lot of people ask me, which one's better, chains or bands? And the answer is both. It really doesn't really matter. I like to use chains more because I know exactly what the weight is as I'm lowering it and at what it is at the top. If you use bands, you're gonna have to use one of those like suitcase luggage things to figure out what it is. And I just don't like doing that. I would rather just know what the weight is and know exactly what the weight is at the top and what the weight is at the bottom. And with bands, the more and more you use them, the more and more they start to use their elasticity and they become less and less at the top. So I like chains better. Now here is my top set for the day. So it's 300 pounds on the bar, plus those 40 pounds of drop chains. So it'll be 300 pounds on the bottom, but 340 pounds at the top. And this is gonna be a PR. This is the most I've ever done for three repetitions with 340 pounds total. And you can see it was a bit of a grind there, but it went up and I was very pleased with that. Wow, 340 pounds total for three repetitions? I'm very proud of that. And my conditioning is going up along with my strength. Now let's continue on to the variation giant set. Anytime I'm doing a variation giant set, I usually like to do three rounds and work up to six repetitions. And I usually have a weight in mind. And if I don't hit it, that's perfectly fine. If I get close to six or if I hit six and it was tough, then that's considered a win for the workout. And I know that I'm getting the most out of my workout. So this is 255 pounds and spoiler alert, I don't hit six. I get to five and I accidentally hit those safety guards, which makes the bar go kind of wobbly and I had to correct it, which took a lot out of me. So you can see there, it kind of starts the helicopter a little bit, but I was able to control it and put it back. But I was pleased with five repetitions. And in between I'm doing uh, strongman pulls with the sled. Now this works your back and it works your obliques. I absolutely love doing this and this is found in a lot of strongman competitions. So I always incorporate this into my workouts. In the same manner, I'm gonna turn it around and then I'm gonna ox drag it back. And you can see I leave the rope dangling behind it. So when I go hit it again, it'll be ready for the next round. Working smarter and not harder. Now for the assistance giant set, I was doing three rounds of these double kettlebell handle push-ups. And I like doing these just because it targets my chest a little bit differently than ring push-ups. And I was doing straight arm lat pull downs with a band. Now this helps when you're trying to take the bar out of a rack to bench it. These muscles are super important to make sure it's stabilized and feels light. So that's why I incorporate these into my training. And for the last part of the assistant giant set, I was working up to a heavy ox drag. So ox drag works your shoulders as you can see and your legs. And you're moving into a forward motion which really helps when you're trying to push or pull something and you have to drag it for some distance. So the goal today was to hit up to 405 pounds. And you'll see I had to throw some chains on there to get to that weight. And this is good because I was feeling pretty fatigued. I mean, I just used my shoulders a lot for the bench press and that's usually what goes out on me here. But this time it went pretty smooth and I was very pleased with that. And then I did some accessory work following this, which I didn't film. But the hardest part, again, is taking all of this and putting it back into my gym. That in and of itself is a loaded carry medley for strongman. But whatever, it's got to go back. 
All right, we've reached the end of the workout. I really appreciate you following along with me and hopefully you learned something new today. For me, when I go to the gym and just go to train chest or just to train bench press, I was getting bored and I started to not look forward to going to the gym and I saw it as a chore. Ever since I started throwing strongman movements in between because they're just so fun for me, I've now looked forward to coming to the gym every single time I plan a session. Until next time, thank you.